Hi everybody, and welcome back to Plastic Models by a Regular Dude, and part eight of the Tamiya 148 scale, Fairy Swordfish Mark II. All right, in part seven, I got all of the sub-assemblies completed in preparation for painting. So I can get cracking on that. So since I am doing um, marking option C, 810 Squadron, Tanzania, 1942, um, the first color I'm going to do is the lower portions of the fuselage and wings. And that color is Mr. Hobby Aqueous H74 Sky in parentheses duck egg green so i've already got the paint mixed up in the jar so now i just need to throw it in the uh, airbrush and get it mixed up with some thinner and for spraying this base coat i'm using my iwata hpm2 single action Spraying it about 15 PSI for those who care. So let me get this mixed up. All right, let's get cracking. So what I'm doing is I'm just building up a light coat. And I'll do it <clears throat> on all All the parts All right, fast forward a little bit. I've got the gr the uh, sky, duck egg green, whatever you want to call it, done on the wings and on the fuselage. So, and I've also got the black stuff painted that I need to paint. I didn't think I would uh, show that just on the on the video, not necessary. But now I'm gonna start working on um, masking. So this part right here, I'll get to in a little bit. But for now, I need to talk a little bit about what I'm going to do first. And I need to, um, I got to do some masking here. I really should have done my paint before I started laying all this stuff down. But I'm not used to doing bi biplanes, so I'm going to have to make do. So what I'm using is my Infinity Easy Cutting Type A mat to cut some strips. And I'm going to start laying down some real narrow bits of masking around these struts. Once I can do that, then I can use larger pieces to actually, you know, cover this in here. I won't have to do this, I don't think. Um, but I will have to mask in here because I'm going to have to spray all this rigging and the upper surfaces. So what I'm going to do, and I'll just give you a quick example here, is... Um, Take some strips like this, and let's see. Let me let me see if I can measure these. See what length strips I need. Um, let's see. Let's do the whole millimeter thing, even though that's a weird form of measurement. Uh, let's go with a thirty. So thirty is right here. So let me cut one of these pieces off. Now these. Um, I don't know if I've talked about this on my channel yet. These mats are just great because you can cut some really nice even strips of masking. They're going to be nice and 
even, like I said. So I'm gonna put these, put this, oh, shnikes. Put this in here like this. Oh, maybe. <laughs> okay, well, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do it off camera, but I'm basically gonna put some strips in here. Uh, around these fittings. If I wanted that to stay on there, it wouldn't. So like this. There we go. So there, and then take this in here. Like that. So that'll get me in between there. And so I'm basically just going to build up my masking tape around this stuff. So I'm going to work on that. And then I'll come back and describe a little bit about what I've done. All right. So the next thing I need to do now that I've got the under, underside of the upper wing mask so I can do all of that without getting hopefully too much overspray. I need to cut the mask to mask off the bottom here for the upper portion of the fuselage. So what I do is I cut this out with the old handy dandy knife uh, just along the edge. Then I lay out some me a tape and using this as a stencil I'll draw it with a line then cut that then apply it to the fuselage so let's get cracking All right, now that I've got everything masked off, I can mix up some paint. So the first paint I'm gonna use is uh, RAF Dark Green, which in this case is the uh, Mr. Hobby Aqueous H73. <clears throat> All right, so I got the first color laid down. So now I need to let that dry a little bit. And while that dries, I can start cutting masks. And I'm gonna be cutting masks for the upper surfaces and the fuselage, just like I did um, for the sides of the fuselage <clears throat> all right so just like everything else i'm going to um, cut the stuff out here and uh get this glued in place now um, one thing to note is this large thing that comes with the instructions that's to scale. That would work great for a template. Um, that's for A. Uh, I think it's A and B. But for C, for the one I'm doing, these colors are flip-flops. So anything dark goes where it's light, etc. And then it gives you a specific tail layout here. So just wanted to point that out, that it is opposite on this kit here, or on this uh, color scheme. So I'm going to go ahead and start cutting these out, get it transferred over to tape. All right, so here is where I sit. I've got all of the uh, masked stuff masking off. I've got all of the um, primary colors sprayed. I got the 
cowling finished so I'm ready to move on to detail painting so the first thing I need to paint are the bracing wires on the tail and on the wings and those are um, gonna be painted with steel because they uh, to me it asks for um, metallic gray so this should work pretty good so I'll get my metallic gray here or my steel acrylic metal color by Vallejo carefully paint it All right, so I uh, using Tamiya's rubber black XF85. I've got the tires painted, and I accomplished that by making some little round um. masks for the hubs so take those off and then I can start painting some other parts and I think I'll start with the the prop paint the yellow on the tips of the prop so the way I'm going to do that is quite simple just going to get some tape and uh, tape off the ends. So I'll cut me off some. I'm going to use green tape for this because actually I'm going to use I'm going to use Tamiya tape. It just doesn't stick as hard. A lot easier to use. Tear me off a strip, cut it into pieces. And for doing this, there's a little line molded on there so you know the, the length that the tip should be painted. Just need to make sure it is square. All right, so they're all taped off. Now I need to do is whip up some yellow some xf3 yellow okay so the next thing i want to detail paint are these parts right here on the back of the engine um, they will be kind of visible the way the engine mounts and the cowling you can see it from the back so I just want to make sure that uh, it looks appropriate. For that, I'm going to use my Model Air Silver, Vallejo Model Air Silver. <clears throat> All right, so I got those painted. I glued the engine into the cowling. So now I'm just going to remove some of this uh, black paint here 
so I can glue it in place in the front of the fuselage. And for this, I'm going to use my um, thicker cement. Since I can't really get um, can't really get the uh, extra thin brush down in there to glue it. So in this, there's a notch there, and coinciding a little pin in there so there is that so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to glue these whoa, these supports in place and for that I am going to use the same cement like that So there's that. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to paint these, the tips of these um, smoke bombs, I guess they are, with silver as per the instructions. All right. So got my brush here. That's going to be weird. carefully paint it <clears throat> all right the next thing are these things here which I have no idea what they are bombs it doesn't say anywhere um, but one end is XF3 yellow and the other is XF7 red which is kind of cool because that's going to add a little bit of unusual color to a military aircraft. So I got them taped off. So now all I got to do is mix up a little bit of paint and uh, get them painted up. All right, the next thing I need to do is I'm, while well, this yellow is drying, I'm going to paint the exhaust, um, get that ready, and I'm going to use for a base coat, I'm going to use XF68 NATO Brown because it's going to end up being, you know, kind of a rusty, crusty look, because not only does I have heat, heat to deal with, but being a uh, carrier based or at least uh, uh, somewhere near the sea type of craft it's going to be kind of rusty rustier than i normally do for exhausts uh, because it's got heat and salt air so i'm just going to make the base instead of being a metallic base i'm going to use uh, nano brown for the base and then i will uh, move on to some lighter colors and some rust and stuff like that so uh, i've got my paint mixed up so i'm ready to spray that
Okay, so first coat on that. This is taped up and ready to go for the XF7 Red. So let's fill up the old airbrush. <clears throat> All right, next I need to paint the ends of these things black. So for that, I am using uh, Vallejo Model Air NATO Black. All right, so that is all of the detail parts painted as far as I know and that I can think of. So with that, I'm ready to start working on decals, but I'm going to wait till the next video to do that. So that ends part eight of the Tamiya 148 scale Fairy Swordfish Mark II project. So as always, thanks for watching. If you have any hints, tips, comments, any of that kind of stuff, put them in the comments section down below and I'll get back to you when I can. So as always, thanks for watching Plastic Models by a Regular Dude, and I will see you all later.